Hello everyone and welcome back to a stylish cost calculator tutorial video. In this video we're going to be revisiting t-shirt printing templates because they're very popular and they're probably the most complex pricing structure that I see uh, in the different industries uh, that use cost calculators on their website. Reason for that is there's just so many variables that go into how much a t-shirt costs. For example with this uh, real case, uh, real real life use case scenario. There's one color, two color, three color, four color, so on and so forth. But there's also a quantity break as well. So in this video, we're going to be going over uh, how we're able to provide these quantity breaks, uh, as well as the multiple different uh, color uh, panels uh, options that the the customers may have. So let's go ahead and start a calculator from scratch. We'll call this T-shirt printing. Version two because we also we already have a couple other templates out there. So there's a few ways we can go about doing this. Um, there's another factor that's not explained in this graphic. It's the large, medium, and small, which may also add uh, price as well to this. But if we were to go solely on this and pretend that the large, medium, and small is the same cost, how I would probably do it um, because only our sliders have the quantity break discount feature. So you're kind of forced to use a slider uh, in this scenario here. Uh, so what I would probably do is have a drop down menu to ask the person how many colors they want. And that drop down menu will trigger uh, the showing or hiding of different sliders that are going to provide the one color, two color, three color price, um, which I'll just show you now. And that's going to have to be on a separate subsection because each slider you can't have more than one slider on the subsection so you're going to have to have uh, a, a different subsection for each one of these colors here so so this is how i would start off i would start off with asking that question uh how many colors in your logo or you can say logo colors if you want to simplify it and you can say uh, one color and you're not going to add a price because this is just asking the, uh, a question. Two colors, so on and so forth. So now that you've asked the question, um, you're going to create a new subsection. And the subsection here is going to have your uh, the price of the one color. So one color. Um, t-shirt, you can call it a t-shirt printing one color, um, starts at, at one, um, you can say uh, from one, uh, one to 12, I guess actually it has to start at 12, so you can start at 12 and you can go from here to 23, and you're going to say it's $7 and 23 cents a unit, so you're going to want to go to bulk discount for that so that you add that price in here 24 goes to 35 add a price range uh, 36 goes to 49 uh, and we'll do one more uh, 50 goes to 99 and then we got 723 572 $3.80 and $3.22 perfect that's lining up so far. Um, and then what you're going to have to do is create a uh, duplicate of that. I don't even know if you can even duplicate this slider. You can't. Um, so that's going to be a problem. Not a real problem. We just have to create a new subsection and just recreate that slider again. So let's go ahead and add that slider. We do plan to bring um, the quantity break feature to uh, the qu uh, number input box and other elements um, in the future. So this workaround actually uh, may be even easier in the future, but this workaround is going to work. Uh, I have a feeling that this workaround is going to work, so it shouldn't be a problem. But let's just go ahead and duplicate this pricing. And for the second pricing, it's eight ninety five and 6 So far, I'm sorry, $8.95. We're going to go to the sliding or bulk pricing, I mean, 665. There's other ways that you can do this as well. For example, um, we can also do it where we just uh, add one slider in one drop down menu, and then you can trigger a discount based upon how many quantities they have. 
in my head, I can think of two or three different ways that we can do this, but I think this is probably going to be the best way uh, for what the, how the invoice is going to look like uh, in the, in the, in the end. So I think we're going to continue to go down this route uh, 445. Okay, perfect. So let's just see how it looks so far. Let's go ahead and save this and just refresh the page and see what, what it looks like so far. Uh, so you have two sliders, right? Um, and obviously we don't want that. Let's go to front end section two. I think it's gonna look better. Perfect. Okay, now we just have to uh, put a conditional logic saying that we only want this to happen if it's equal to one color. Uh, and the second color here, we want to go down to conditional logic and say we only want to show it uh, if the answer is equal to two colors. Uh, there we go. So now we can just go ahead and refresh the page. So you just pop in a question, how many colors do you want? The person says one color, boom. Then they have their, their pricing. So 46 of one color is 174. So let's find out if that's correct. So uh, bring up the calculator here. Let's do 46 times um, one color would be three dollars and eighty. So 174. So we got it correct. Go to two colors. 28. Let's see if that's correct. 28 of two colors. 665 28 times 606 cents and 186. Let's see what's going on here. 695 for 28. Uh, we have 28, 69. Oh, I just put the math in there a little bit wrong, uh, but it's working. So, this is exactly what we want. This is what the invoice would look like. You would know that it's two colors because the person selected it, it's not going to charge them anything. Um, they'll obviously figure that out that this is just for internal purposes. Then this is actually the actual cost of what it's going to be. Um, if you want to have a surcharge of what it would cost for that, the medium and large, uh, at that point, you can just add a drop down menu to your slider. Just move it above the slider. Actually, it really doesn't matter. And you can say, uh, lar uh, shirt size actually you wouldn't want to do is a drop down because a person can pick multiple uh versions of it right so let's delete that let's add it as a number input box uh let's move it above it and we can say small and then we well, let's just say you charge a zero surcharge for small right let's duplicate that to medium and charge a one dollar surcharge for medium or actually you know what medium and large is not a surcharge let's just do it only for large I'm just guessing at this point uh, what their use case is. Let's say it's two euros or two dollars to, to have uh, large. So now let's go ahead and uh, do that. So you have your uh, small, medium, and large. Person goes down here, picks out two colors. Uh, they put down, I want five large, seven large, and five mediums plus the 24. So basically you got 24 t-shirts. Um, actually, sorry, this is getting multiplied. Uh, so we, it's getting multiplied because it's in the same subsection. So what you could do is these uh, questions here, you're gonna wanna put that question uh, in here. You're gonna move these quantity inputs right here. Let's move this one, let's move that one, and let's move the large. Perfect. So you can even put a conditional logic for that to show up only after the person selected that. That's also possible too. But let's just refresh the page. Uh, I want two colors. I want six, seven, and 10, you know, or let's just make it even. I want 10, 10, and 5, that's 25. So then you go down here and you pick 25. And then uh, there's only that extra surcharge for these 10 large. This is the 25, two colors. It's the accurate price if I made it 665. The person doesn't get charged originally for this one right here. 
Um, this is just for internal purposes to know what the person wants and your price is correct. You, if you charge tax, go to the calculator tab, add your tax here. You can add your tax to the front end of the form or just have it in the back. Um, yeah, that's, those are your options there. Uh, we are coming out with a feature where this slider here can have a, a quantity input box here. So um, as you're sliding the slider, if the person, let's just say you can have up to 500 units, right? and it might be very hard for the person to select 500 units with the slider, we're going to have a, a little uh, input box right here to the right so the person can just click in there and add the pricing and it's going to uh, change the slider for them. Uh, and then you can just use CSS code to hide the slider if you want. So that in that case, you would have an input box that's pretty much acting as a, as a subsection slider. So this is one way of doing it. Um, like I said, the other way of doing it is you can just have uh, one slider instead of two sliders here. You can just have one slider within this subsection. Uh, and then you'd have a custom math element that would uh, trigger a discount based upon uh, how many units the person picked. Uh, but I think that this use case right here is, this is probably the best solution for this current use case. And hopefully this solution also works for you guys as well. You can comment on this YouTube video if you have any questions, uh, or you can send us an email at stylishcostcalculator.com slash support, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much, guys, and have yourself a good day.